Bonjour à tous, privet. So welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, we're learning about natural language processing. So what is natural language processing? So it is just simply put, processing everyday languages or understanding everyday languages. So we are trying to teach computers, right, to be able to simulate how human beings understand everyday language. So that is NLP for sure. So let me show you an example. So if I go to Google search. And I, you see this button there, right? Search by a voice. If I click on it, search for natural language processing. See, I did not do anything. It just searched for it. It took my words, converted them into test, and then search it, right? So how did Google, Google do, do, that, do this thing? Just using the NLP API as well as machine learning and several technologies. Again, if you have this website, which is still Google Translate, and I type the word hello, it just was able to detect that hello is an English word and then I can translate it to French, bonjour, I can translate it to Russian, Zrasvitye. So like this same word is detected and it's been able to translate it. So how is Google able to do that? It's using NLP, right? A translation API. So the usefulness of NLP is to help us to be able to do test classification sentiment analysis language processing or language modeling speech recognition like with this right as well as several of them like machine translation like the google translate and then several of them so there are several packages that can help you to do it on your own so some of these packages are test block which you'll be learning about nltk that is natural language toolkit which is a very common one we have spursy which is very fast we have test block just simplified format we have word where to vec fast test fast test is by facebook that is used for test classification we have test analysis by for julia glovi and drop to there are several packages but these are the most commonest one so let's see how to do that in this tutorial so first of all this is a main idea about test so the most valuable data on the internet now concerning human beings is language right so human language so how do we derive meaning from them so this is the way you have to get the words, the language, and then the part of speech as well as the content and the context. So let's see. So first of all, how do we get the words inside a speaking word? So we use tokenization. So tokenization is breaking those words into tokens. So we have word tokens and then sentence tokens. So let's see. First of all, you need to install this. If you don't have it, with pip install. Test block, right? If you don't have it, but I already have it. So you just go shoot away. Then from test block, import this test block. So I have this my test here, right? The best error message is the one that never shows up. So this is a, so this is the whole test I have. You can have it, you can have it inside a, a test file and then store it. So let's see how to tokenize these words. So, so to do that, it's quite simple. You can just go with let's say word. Let's call it blob, right? So blob, you can name it as any way, then go with test, blob, then to bracket, I'm going to pass in my string. So if I check for it, if I check for the type of this, it's going to tell me that it is what? A blob. It's a test blob, right? It's perfect. So we can also use a base block, which is a higher class of it, but it's preferable we use a test block. So this is just a test block. The same thing can be done here. So let's call it base block. And then I go with base block, which is just like the test block we had. And I'm going to pass in my string. If I pass in my string and I check for the type of this, it's going to give me that it's what it's a test block, right? So it can work in the same way. Okay. So let's move on to the web tokens. Let me increase the size. Okay, perfect. So word token or tokenization is breaking the words into, into test. So my word was blob. That was our test blob we are working with. So we want to break all these things into words. So we can do it in this way by going to blob dot words. It's going to give us a word list of all the words inside it, right? So these are all word tokens. Perfect. So it, there are several ways of them. Some of them are repetitions. Again, that is one way. So the other way we can do it is to divide the words that we had. These words, you learn more from failure than from success. Don't let it stop you. Like all these words, you can break them into sentences and then 
divide them from sentences to words. So how do you do second sentence tokenization? So it's going to go with blob dot sentence. So it's going to do the same thing. It's going to divide them based on the punctuation, based on the spacing. Perfect. This one divides it based on the space. This one divides it based on the sentence. So from this place, we can rather break them into word tokens. So let's call it as word tokens. Then it's going to go with four. Bring it up a little. For words, it's for word tokens, right? In my blog dot sentences. Then print words tokens dot words. So it's going to print it perfectly for us. So this is a word. This is another way of creating word tokens. From the sentence token so thank you. so that is nice so now let's see some other things can also do with words we have learned how to tokenize them now let's see some of the combinations of words so n grams means like combination of multiple words whereby the n stand for the number of combinations you want to make so you can have a unigram you can have a bigram and then a trigram let's so let's try the unigram is just one word so let's try the normal bigram so to do that it's going to be the same word we are using it's going to be for bigram in our ways that we had so blob dot n grams then we're going to supply it takes one it takes this one argument in which you're going to put the kind of combination so how many combinations you want the n degree so this is two for bigram and going to go <coughs> going to go print then bigram so it's going to print all the ways two by two right that is perfect so you can also do the same thing for trigram Let's change this one to trigram. Then we're going to change this to three, right? Three, this is going to be one i and then one i. So if you do it, it's going to give us the ways based in three, three, three combinations, three, three multiple combinations of the way. <coughs> this is very important when you are especially when you are trying to build features. So n graphs are very useful when you're trying to do language modeling and then you need features to do them perfect so now we have been able to see how to work with words so let's see how to be able to detect the kind of words it is so to do that we just create a simple test so my greeting my word simple let's call it my word and then this is going to go with test blob then you're going to have a simple word so hello so this is going to be a so if I want to check, you take the kind of word there, I can just go with simple my word dot detect language. This is just like the Google Translate, right? It's going to work just like the Google Translate. Perfect. So going to tell me that it is English, which is actually very true. So if I put a different word there from this my word to something different. So my word to I went to if I put something different, which is not English, but let's say from let's say let me change my keyword to previous. Let me see what I say to previous, right? Previous. This is Russian, right? Mm -hmm. Let me change it back. So if I go back to this word, right? This is a totally different way. So if I check it, so my and copy different pastes so that is faster <coughs> sorry for the noise and i do it too to be able to detect that this is russian perfect so the same way so like that is one of the ways of doing it so we have been able to detect the language now how do we translate the language so i want to translate this hello into a different language so how do i do that then we we'll move on to the next one which is going to be our translation so it's going to be like this for our translation we are going to translate it into a different language. So how do we do that? It's going to be same word my word, translating the hello to Russian. So translate. Let's translate to French, which is quite simple. Then I'm going to supply to then the language. So F F R to French, and then it's going to translate the word hello, <coughs> hello to <coughs> French, which is. I can also do the same thing for a different language. 
which is I don't know which language should you use should you use uh, Espanol then hola perfect so it's working perfectly just like the Google Translate so that is one way of this so let's see with a lot a bigger way so this is a French word that is going to appear now you're going to apply the same thing to it so it's going to be test blog this my name test this is going to be French it's English so I'm going to convert this English to to what to French so let's see whether it's going to give us exactly the same thing as here perfect so it's giving us the same French word here so this is one way of using the test blob to be able to do something simple like this something which is very advanced but very simple in this place so so thank you for watching this tutorial so stay tuned for the next aspect and then please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed